Okay, so I've just come out of the train station and now I'm heading over to... Ooh, did you see that window clean? Anyway, sorry. Um, basically, I'm on the search for some content for this video. But yeah. Okay, I still got half an hour. So I'm just gonna go for a long, long, long walk and see where I end up. Okay, so I've still got a good half an hour to do whatever I like. And I thought I'd just take you guys on a walk. Well, I've got no other choice, but... <laughs> okay, so this is what happens when you kind of get carried away in the sun and you start walking so far that you realize you've only got 10 minutes to get to your place, which is around 10 minutes from here. Meaning that I have to kind of speed walk if I want to be there on time, because obviously not everyone can get access into the building, so that kind of uh, sucks. Okay, so I literally have three minutes left and I'm three minutes away. Ah, oh, this is scary. I should speed up. I'm speeding up and I'm still on time. Why? Well, I should be early. No. Oh, I would run, but then this backpack isn't, um, well, to be honest, I can run with it. It's not that I can't run with it, but, oh well, I like the sun though. <laughs> Sun is nice. I'm getting that dose of vitamin D. Okay, so basically now I've just finished uh, from my lab practical thing and now I'm heading over to the Minerva building to finish off some more work on anatomy. So finishing off from what I did yesterday and then continuing on Don't with my microbiology lecture. Don't so let's see how this goes. Also, first of all, I'm gonna eat. Then I'm gonna do my lectures because I'm hungry. I'm literally hungry, but yeah, that view's quite nice. Okay, so I found my place to sit. It's a nice place, quite exposed. I feel like I'm naked, but then at the same time I don't because there's not really anyone here. But it's a nice place, let me show you. Okay, so we've got my laptop, water bottle. Oh, hello, Milky Way, my bag, a charging place, port slot thing. And then this view here, which is nice. It's like a massive screen, cinema screen. So it's nice, I like it. What's really important is when you're working, if your environment is clean, nice, pretty, then the quality of your work will be amazing as well. So, like, for example, working in a place where it's really dark and dim and glit, like, you know, really dark, it's best not really to work there. Best to work in light and daylight, because obviously daylight is uplifting and you just end up producing better quality of work. Okay, so now that I've eaten and I've spent just 10 minutes sitting here, just staring outside the window, um, I'm now going to continue on with my work. So currently right now, I'm going to be looking at the skull, the cranium, the viscer visceral-cranium, and then the clavicle. Is it clavicle? Yeah, I need to revise. <laughs> Okay, so basically, as you can tell, anatomy is so, the soul out of me, so that's great. But I have a meeting with my tutor to ask a few more questions about, well, not my tutor, but my lecturer about um, anatomy. And I just have a few questions about the skull and just other anatomical things. But one interesting thing that I learned was about the, the skull. Now, one thing you should do is get the get your hand and touch the back of your head. You'll feel this bump. I thought that bump wasn't normal. That bump is completely normal. That's referred to your EOP, which stands for external occipital protuberance. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Protuberance? Protuberance. Protuberance. Your external occipital protuberance. External basically means on the outer layer. Occipital is basically referring to the back part of your head, which is where um, it's got something to do with your eyes. Occipital, 
and then obviously protuberance I'm guessing means protruding so literally in four minutes I've got my meeting and you know what I'm gonna just record it because I'm gonna end up doing something kind of funny well not funny but um, in order for me to explain to my tutor what misconception I have I have to kind of you know um, do a demonstration I know this I can't believe I have to do a demonstration in public, but oh well, but basically, I know this is, uh, no, sorry, this is um, abduction, right? Why is this flexion? Okay, so t right now it is 3.13 in the afternoon and I'm probably on my fourth meeting of the day and I'm gonna have a fifth one like later on at around four o'clock, so life is great okay so right now my hair is a mess <laughs> uh, i'll sort this out sort this out okay first of all the view is like wow like literally let me hold up like you can just see right here in the reflection <gasps> look at that that is amazing that's like spectacular i'm so sorry this video should just literally be shamayel gets excited over views because like it is amazing like oh, wow oh my days don't tell me that isn't spectacular like if you say that oh. okay so basically right now i'm on a walk because i needed a walk and ah uh, yeah, walking is very, very important. Like, you can't be studying and sitting down for that long. You're going to prone yourself to DVT, which isn't good. Walking is essential, my friends. It doesn't have to be a run, a light, brisk walk, just to get some oxygen into your airs. No, into your lungs. <laughs> okay, so, currently right now, I'm so out of breath. Uh, I've got four minutes five minutes even until my train departs I'm five minutes away from the train station <sighs> guys you must be able to calculate your time correctly because any one slight mistake you can miss your train oh my 